Hi friends. Well, we are in it, the final countdown, heading down to that final Sunday of Advent, Christmas Eve, and of course, Christmas. And people have lots to do, things are starting to get stressful, traffic is getting bad, and I feel like sometimes we start to behave badly. You know, you remember a few years ago when you hear about people getting in fights at the mall, someone wishing, you know, someone working in the store wishing happy holidays and someone hissing back at them, Merry Christmas, you know, the reason for the season. And we think about all the different ways that people think about this season where they might start different arguments. You know, in church, there's people who feel really, really passionately that during Advent, we don't sing Christmas songs. It's not Christmas yet. That's the point of Advent, that we should only be singing Advent songs, which are not as well known nor necessarily loved. And if that's your thing, okay. And if you wanna sing Christmas carols as loud as you can to bring you great joy, maybe that's okay too. And of course, with the internet, people have strong opinions about everything that they are not afraid to share about how many gifts people should be getting, if they should be wrapped or not. Um, you know, do we put Jesus in the manger all through Advent or wait until the end? I mean, really strong opinions about things that matter because they want to keep Christ in Christmas. Okay but maybe we're forgetting the most important part of keeping Christ in this Advent season. So maybe instead of worrying about how other people are living out their traditions, how they are celebrating their season, how they are waiting for Christ, maybe we spend more time loving our neighbor, feeding the hungry, visiting the lonely, caring for the stranger, extending radical hospitality to those in need. This is what is Christ-like. This is the reason for the season. And so if we can focus more on how we can put that love and light out into the world and worry less about what other people are doing and our opinion of that, if we can share more of that light and love I think it would be a good thing. And I think that would be the reason for this Advent season. I wish you a wonderful end to your Advent, a beautiful Christmas Eve and a wonderful Christmas. I hope that you know how loved you are and that you are not alone. You are welcome to worship with us on Christmas Eve at Covenant Presbyterian in person or online at 10 a.m., 5 p.m. and or 8 p.m. as well. Merry Christmas, my friends.